are sitting and knitting, um, kind of doing a little preview for our DIY workshop on January 27th. Uh, the Textile Artisan Guild here at GSU is going to be teaching um, people how to knit, kind of introducing them to sort of like a resurgence in craft culture. I think all these DIY workshops are really going to be very interesting and it's something, you know, free to do while you're bored on a Tuesday. I hope that people who come to DIY Tuesdays um, get a chance to realize that clay can be a very meditative medium. It's one of the few mediums that can be photorealistic or completely abstract and you can do it all in the same studio. Uh, and so clay is one of the most versatile mediums I've ever put my hands on and part of the reason that I enjoy it so much is there are no limits when it comes to clay. This project is based on string theory, the random sort of interplay of energies that affect the everyday and um, we're kind of using random and chance operations to sort of build this network of, uh, of lines in this corridor. And we like string theory because the idea of things next to things kind of like parallel and sometimes gravity shoots through them like an inner effect that goes through all of them. So we're planning on trying to have the string kind of go in and out of like what you can't see and what you can see. And we're hoping that we can get enough string to where it uh, kind of makes the area yeah. a, a bit different. Get the area to sort of change for people who interact with it on a daily basis. Maybe get them to think about and consider other energies that are pulling through themselves. Because they really look up. They, they really look up. Right? Yeah, so. so we wanted to look up and, and see. And we're trying to have fun at the same time. Yeah. <laughs> Which is good.